play Gretzky and Lemieux together, which, uh, you know, that's not exactly balancing your lines, but the two greatest players in the world. What was the, the thinking behind that? Well, I was thinking, and I'm at my cottage right now. I was sitting here in July of that particular summer and thinking, how can we find a difference? We're going to play an unbelievable team. At least our expectation was to play the Soviet Union. And I didn't want to show it early in the tournament. I showed it a little bit from time to time in the power play. But I knew that they were exceptional, skilled players. Uh, and talk about roles. I had Mark Messier, Mike Gardner playing right wing, Glenn Anderson playing left wing, and that was the checking line to go against Larionov. So uh, oh, wow. I had thought about various combinations and various scenarios that we would see from each team that we played, but in particular from the Soviet Union. And uh, I made up my mind. I didn't discuss it with anyone. Uh, including the coaches, coaching staff and or the players, but waited uh, until it became an important point and advantageous for us to show the world, to show the Soviets that they were going to be put together and the dynamics of the, uh, and their skill set of the two of them together and others playing with them uh, was the difference maker. Yep, and if you hadn't have put that combination together, we wouldn't have had the moment that we had back in 1987. Let's roll that video, Vic. Uh, a minute and a half to go in the game. Dale Howarchuk is in there now to take the draw. And, uh, of course, in the Canadian zone, wins it. Uh, let's pick up the uh, legendary call from Dan Clark. What a moment. I mean, it still gives me goosebumps. How about you? Yeah, it was a special. I, I, like, I like to tell the story, though, and I've, we've talked about it, Scott and I. Said, Wayne said Murph was leading up, and we had two offensive defensemen at the, at the same time, Coffee and Murph. And Wayne says, there's no way I'm going to give it to Murph. I'll use him as a decoy. <laughs> so, well, and tell him the story, the, tell him the story, Mike, of the face-off. Yeah. So uh, – I call the three of them, and Mess is expecting me to call him to, for this important defensive zone face-off. But I was thinking about winning the game first and foremost then, and they had their fourth unit out, which was less experienced, and I knew they would come back with Larionov. So I wanted to save Mess for Larionov because it's exactly what happened after we scored the goal. But uh, they, the three sentiment go out there, and Gretz says, well, uh, I'm not taking it. And they all said, it, well, it's on the wrong side for me. And how he said, well, I guess I'm going to take it. So <laughs> that's how they decided uh, as they were uh, leaving the bench to go out. Cause I never said to them, you, Dale, you take the face off. I let them decide. No. 